Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. It is my hope and prayer that this video is going to find you guys in good health. Personally, I'm fine and the weather is also fantastic here. Sabina Chege, the Muranga women representative, yesterday made the big announcement. And that announcement by Sabina Chege caught majority of the Azimio Laumoja supporters by surprise. Many were actually shocked. Sabina Chege will not be running for any political office in the upcoming general election. She will not be defending her seat as the women representative. And at some point, it was also speculated that she was going to run as a member of parliament in one of the constituencies in Moranga County. And again, that's not going to happen. In this video, I want us to look at why Sabina Chege will not be running for any political office. Because just like I keep on telling you guys, in politics, nothing happens out of mere coincidence. Everything in politics is normally well planned, well scripted, and executed to achieve a specific political objective. The fact that Sabina Chege will not be, def will not be defending her seat and will not be on the ballot is significant political speaking. Number one, Sabina Chege is a member of Railo Dinga's Sky Team. This is, a, this is a team of young politicians who are always on standby to accompany Railo Dinga any, in any of his political rallies. They have a chopper and a fixed wing on standby. This team includes uh, Junet Mohammed, Hassan Joho, there is Kanini Kege in that team, there is, I think, there is um, Ledamo Lekina, there is Gladys Wanga, and who else? So that team is always there. So it was expected that because of that profile, Sabina Chege would easily defend her seat. That's not going to happen. Number two, Sabina Chege is also a member of the Council of Azimio Laomoja Movement. That's one of the top organs of the party. The other day, this organ met with President Ru Kenyatta, and you could tell that that's a very powerful team. Again, it was expected because of that role, she was going to easily defend her seat. Number three, Samina Chege is a close ally of President Ru Kenyatta. In fact, President Ru Kenyatta has a dependable player in the name of Sabina Chege. There are several other people who joined President Ru Kenyatta and the handshake. Most of them fell off before this time. Sabina Chege has stood with President Ru Kenyatta up to this point. So Sabina Chege also was viewed as one of the key contacts of the president in the larger Mount Kenya region. So the fact that she's not going to defend her seat is significant. This is what Sabina Chege posted yesterday. I want us to go through it, but before we do that, for those who are watching this channel for the first time, I want you guys to take a second or two, click that subscribe button, so that next time you produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue thank you guys for your continued support. And by the way, I know most of you guys love Sabina Chege. Drop a message for her. She's not going to defend her seat. Drop a message for her. Now, this is what Sabina Chege updated on her Facebook page yesterday. I want to just go through it. Then I give the reasons why I think she's not going to run for any political office. Number, She's saying, to the people of Moranga County, I am grateful to serve you as the pioneer women representative under the new dispensation of the constitution. It has been an honor, an opportunity to grow in leadership, serving with the dignity and humility. We have served tirelessly, we have touched lives directly and indirectly. We shall forever walk with our heads high. As I move to the next level of leadership, I hope you are listening. As I move to the next level of leadership, I will build the momentum from here. I will serve with all the zeal and determination. Asante sana watu wangu wa Muranga County. Indeed, I love you as your mother. It's a defining moment. To my boss and party leader, and my party leader, His Excellency President Uru Kenyatta, I sincerely thank you for believing in me and giving me a platform in the National Assembly.
to serve in the capacity of education chair in the first term and the chair held committee in the second term. More importantly, my current position as a council member in Azimio La Umoja, one Kenya coalition party, Asante Sana, and I will forever be indebted. I love you all, Asante Sana Sabina Chege, women representative. And uh, she has actually shared photos here with her be with the people from uh, Muranga. Yes. Yes, these are people from Muranga. Yes. Yeah. But why do you think Sabina Chege is not going to defend her seat? That's the big question. And by the way, have you subscribed to the channel? Do it right away. In my view, Sabina Chege is not going to defend her seat for several reasons. You remember, timing is always key in politics. So the first reason why Sabina Chege is not running, I think, maybe, maybe, just maybe, President Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Molodinga are considering her for the position of the running mate. Why am I saying so? There's a list which went round of those who've been shortlisted or who are being considered as a potential running mate to Raila Odinga. There were four people. Were they five? There was um, Martha Karwa, there was Hassan Joho, there was Peter Munya, and uh, who else was it? Peter Kenneth. So there were four people. Now, if you narrow down to women, there is only Martha Karwa. But Sabina Chege fits the bill. Number one, there is a way Sabina Chege clicks so well and easily with Azimio La Moja supporters. I don't think there would be a trouble today if Relo Dinga and Uru Kenyatta were to agree that our your running mate is going to be Sabina Chege. Majority of Kenyans who support Azimio will celebrate that. That's a fact. Compared to Martha Karua, if you were to nominate Martha Karua as Relo Dinga's running mate, there are still Relo Dinga supporters who believe that Martha Karua robbed Relo Dinga his, his victory. And some of them will not easily celebrate. But for Sabina Chege, majority of Raila Odinga supporters will easily embrace her. And the fact that she's now been propelled to the national limelight, I tend to think that these guys could be considering Sabina Chege for the appointment as a running mate to Raila Amolo Odinga. I could be wrong, but I'm not very far from the truth. That's number, number two. I also tend to think that Sabina Chege is a wise and strategic politician. She has served for two terms as a member of parliament or as, as a women rep, which means already she has qualified for that pension. That's number one. Importantly, Mount Kenya region is predominantly UDA stronghold as we speak. So which means probably Sabina Chege has conducted an opinion poll. And in that opinion poll, she has realized that being an Azimio supporter will reduce her chances of being re-elected. So what can she do then? If that's the case, she has decided that I'm not going to run. So Samina Chege is not going to run because the ground is not favoring her. There is no need for running and losing. You'd rather not run and people will remember you so that after five years, she can come back either as a gubernatorial candidate or as another candidate of a, I mean, of a particular constituency, something like that. So I think Sabina Chege has figured out that as things turn to me in the larger Mount Kenya region, it will be a tall order for her to retain her seat. Because let's assume that the support of uh, Ruto is at 60%, which means UDA support will be almost at that point. So Sabina Chege will be beginning the contest from a disadvantaged position. A wise person would do what Sabina Chege has done. If the ground is hostile for you, there is no need of going to contest. And that's something I always tell most people who consult me on matters of politics. If your chances are minimal, there is no need for you to run. It's not a matter of life and death. And that's, in my view, is a possibility. Number three, 
I also tend to think that maybe Sabina Chege is not decided. The moment she started supporting the uh, President Ru Kenyatta and the Azimio, she was undecided whether to go for the MP and whether to go for the women rep. When you are undecided, you give room to opponents. And political opponents know how to take advantage. Probably these guys took advantage of that indecision to stamp their authority. So by the time she realized someone had emerged in the women rep position. Before she realized someone had emerged in the position of a member of parliament which she had identified. And I also think that in my own opinion, maybe President Ru Kenyatta, based on what I've learned, has decided that is using the intelligence report to issue UDA, I mean to issue Jubilee tickets. That's why Muturi Kigano was not issued, Kariri Njama was not issued, Sabina Chege probably was not issued because she was undecided, therefore she became a bit unpopular or there are more popular candidates in those constituencies. Number four, I also tend to think that Sabina Chege is waiting for an appointment in the upcoming government. She's been told that Raila is going to become the president. So the best thing you can do is you either go and defend your seat, then you'll be appointed, then you occasion a running, I mean, uh, uh, by election, or you just decide and go campaign once you secure that seat you automatically get the appointment and i was even telling a friend of mine who is supporting an opponent of junet mohammed and i don't know why people like wasting their time you know if you value your friends and they're running for political seats tell them that they can't someone is running against junet mohammed in Tuna east and i was telling a guy who is a friend of that guy that there is no way junet mohammed is going to lose in Tuna east so instead of this guy creating enmity, there's a chance that if Raila Odinga becomes the president, Junet Mohamed can be appointed to the cabinet, like just Ruto did to Charles Keter. Then Junet will go up there, he will leave the constituency. Someone will then, I mean, a, a, a by-election will then be occasioned. And that guy will have a chance. Because even if he ran today, he's still going to do so. He can't be a member of parliament. So he's only going to use his resources and probably will not have the goodwill of someone like Junet Mohamed, if Raila Odinga will become president, is definitely going to be a cabinet secretary, serious one. That's probably what might have happened to Sabina Chege, but she has realized that for her, there is no need for her to go contest and lose. You know, for Junet, he can contest and win. So that's number three. Number f that's number four. And lastly, I also tend to think that maybe. She has been convinced that serving at the national level would be the best thing for you. So that after the elections, you won't be nominated as a, I mean, you won't be a women rep, but you are going to be nominated as a member of parliament. If not a member of parliament, either as a senate. So I don't know what you think, but I think it's all about nomination. Because, you know, supporting Uru Kenyatta the way Sabina Chega has done, she was sure of winning her seat. UDA is strong there. Her chances of winning has reduced. So definitely it simply means that she can only be nominated. So there's no need for her to contest and lose. I don't know what to think, but that's my take. For those watching this channel for the first time, please take a second or two, click that subscribe button so that next time you produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. Thank you guys, and please may you have a good day. Bye-bye.